this thing that happened on opening day, let's, in fact, you know what? Let's bring up the guy that, rather than me tell the story again, let's bring in the guy that actually did this. This is Luis Sessa. How are we doing? All right, now, this started with you, and it started with you thinking that Jake Fraley looked like a Viking, correct? Oh, yeah, correct. That started last year, you know. The last month of the season, I started in the bullpen and the dugout because I started. So we need to celebrate the hits, the homers. So I just think about it like, okay, Friday looks like a Viking. So I had a really good relation with, with Friday. So I just thought, hey, hey, maybe we need to do something like a roll when you had a base or something. And just the, the idea is keep it, keep it going and just save it for this year, like with hey, the cave and the Viking helmet. It was beautiful. It took a lot of people by surprise. In fact, I was asking in the dugout, and some of the coaches like, I have no idea where that came from. So you kind of snuck it up on people. There it is. Where did you get such an authentic-looking helmet and cape? Actually, I buy a couple ones, and the first one is too heavy. It's a metal one. I think it's like heavy and dangerous. So we take the idea, like, uh, maybe we need a plastic one. Like, it'll be a more safe for the, for the team. Um, I bring for the sprint training guys and they wear it and they feed it for everybody and just keep it going and just, you know, they, they, they take that one and just keep it going. And this is going to evolve a little bit, right? When the player goes through with the helmet and the cape, you want the players, the teammates to row behind them. Oh, yeah, that's the idea. Like, I, we stay behind the guy here at home and we like a row because, you know, we are a warrior. And I think that's a good game for the team. We stay in the same page, we stay together, and that's the idea, you know. I see all the team had a different style for celebrating homers, and I like the idea, like, uh, the biking hair make K, and we roll behind everybody because, like a team, we, we roll for the victory. That's the, that's the idea. Well, one thing Jonathan India certainly knew because he met him on the top step was, he, is he the guy that is going to instigate and put the helmet on? Unless he's, of course, the one that hits the home run. Oh, yeah. I think Indy and TJ Friedo, that's going to be the guy they put there. Because normally they had a, like a, the spot for the guys they, they hit a homer. So hopefully we had a different guy to put the, the helmet. But, yeah, Indy and TJ Friedo, that's going to be the guys where they, they put the K and the helmet. Well, let's, let's hope we see it a lot. We appreciate it, and we love the insight. Thank you for being so open about it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, that is Luis Cesar, who, by the way, will take the game. The game five.